very sorry to report this, but not good news for it. Um, so unfortunately, we have more fatalities, I'm afraid to, to say. So starting off with the Republic of Ireland Chief Medical Officers, and that's 21 deaths. Um, obviously, we pray for the families. So now my condolences to the family. It's a very difficult time for them. Um, twelve of them had underlying health illness, and I mean they have illness before they got the coronavirus. And additionally, there's nearly four hundred new cases, two hundred and ninety new cases of the coronavirus. Um, so a good lot of them are in cap, and I will have to speak about that. Um, because sadly it won't go away. In total, the amount of deaths in the Republic of Ireland was which one hundred and fifty-eight in the Republic. That is a huge amount of people. I'm sure you would agree that's. That's very grim. That is really, really grim. Um, nearly 5,000 people in the Republic <clears throat> have the coronavirus. Um, um, in, addition, in addition to more bad news, there is seven extra deaths in Northern Ireland. Um, there's 91 new cases in Northern Ireland. Um, the total debt on the island, the island of Ireland is 200. 200 sowers have lost their lives on this island. Um, obviously, we sympathise with the families. This is a very traumatic time to go through. To go through this, we, we pray. We pray for them and we will say a prayer on the minute uh, for the families. And just and a few other things just to talk about. As you know, the coronavirus has hit 1.1 million people um, across the world. The US is very bad. Um, the only thing we can say we only offer a hand of prayer to the US and to Italy and to Spain, um, and we can only hope we can only hope that this either a fi either virus will go and leave us in peace. Um, another thing in in Ireland, as we probably have heard, I won't really talk about that much, um, because I think it's just, I think you know. I'm going to say it's the Taoiseach has we enlisted as a doctor. Um, now I'm kind of fifty fifty on it. Um, you know, he, I think he done the right thing in enlisting because obviously he's a medical fellow, he knows what he's doing. Um, I think he's right to enlist as a doctor, but um, I don't think he should have said it publicly. I think he should have probably just went and done it. Um, you know, I can think it's a bit of a publicity stuff too. Um, it's just my opinion. I don't mean to be bringing you know ways and down a positive thing on this time but you know I think you shouldn't have said anything but um I'll just ask people for a minute. Oops Lizzie. Um let me just get in. I just ask people for a minute just to say a silent prayer with me and pray for the nurses and doctors and for the dead.
Thank you. Um, just before I go, um, I just want to say, you know, if you could pray before you go to bed, um, you can just say my prayer for brave nurses and doctors who are risking their lives, along with members of the Defence Forces volunteers, um, doing God's work as we know, in the hospitals and doing their best. It's difficult. It's difficult for nurses and doctors at this time. Um, we pray to God that no no harm will come to them and we pray for God to give everybody strength at this moment in time that you get through this and we ask this through Christ, Christ our Lord Amen Thank you and be safe